Hello beautiful people, I hope you're doing well and welcome back to On How channel. For people that don't know, my name is Anas, I'm working for you. So if you have any questions, any video requests, make sure to drop on below in a comment. I will be happy to make a video for you. And for people that don't know, welcome back and you already know. If you have any questions, make sure to drop on below. I will be happy to make a video for you, same as the over 100 videos I made now on Shopify customization. And they were mostly requests by subscribers. Not all of them to be honest, but mostly requests by subscribers and some of them not even subscribers but I'm fine with that I don't have no issue with that just a like button will help me out and some people even I reply to them on Instagram and I provide them with the call to do the trick you're trying to do and they left you with scene that's all they do no thank you nothing no appreciation I don't know how these people think but they will miss out on many opportunities if they keep behaving like that uh, appreciation is really important and especially online because you cannot see the person you can just write words and words mean a lot actually so it's easy to do I don't know why they don't do it anyway in this video I will show you how to hide the filters on your collection page for your Shopify store easily by using a single line of code maybe two lines of code I'm not sure we will see in a moment and this video is a request again by subscriber he is a subscriber actually, this guy I know he's a subscriber because I did post a video on how to hide the best uh, selling option on the sort by, on the collection page if you are interested in that video, I already posted, make sure to check it out and I did make a video as a, again on how to completely remove the sort by options and he did say, well, if we can remove these two, why not remove the filters? that's a good idea here is the video for you, so let's just quit talking and let's just jump to it and show you how to hide the filters on collection page for your Shopify. As you can see, this is the Shopify dashboard and this is the team that I used to do the tricks, which is down the last version as of now, which is the 15. But I also have all of the teams here, the free ones, the most used free ones. Uh, they sense, refresh, spotlight and trade. And if you are wondering why is that, because each trick I do share on my channel, I do the, the implementation or demonstration in the video on down team, but I also try it in the background, I mean behind the scenes, on the other teams as well. So if you are using one of these, it will work for you just fine. Even if it didn't, just drop me a comment. I will be happy to help you out. So for the second time, let's just quit talking and let's just jump to it. So let me access some Shopify store, uh, sh collection, sorry. Let's just access this one. So this is what I'm talking about, this one, filter. So we want completely to remove this. If you are interested in just removing one of these, let me know. But in this video, I will remove all of them. So let's just keep this page open. We'll do the trick, come back and see it in action. So obviously the first thing you're going to do is click on the three dots or left of customize and click on edit code. Then it will take you to the code editor for your Shopify team and simply click on the search bar at the top right corner and search for team. There is a file called team.liquid and that's exactly what we need. And this file exists on every Shopify team. So simply click on it, then you will see a bunch of code in here. The next thing you're going to do is simply click on the page that's like you want to write something and don't, don't write anything. Then simply click on Control F. If you are on Windows, I'm on Mac, I'm going to click on Command F and it will show me this prompt at the bottom of the page and type in forward slash head, just like this. Then hit enter and it will highlight it on the code for you. Here it is. So let's just close this. And after that, we need to create some space because we're going to pass in a code here. And simply um, click front of script and hit enter. And here we go. We have this space here to pass in the code. And where are you going to get the code from? As always, simply scroll down the description box and you will see a link named as code. And simply click on it. And it will take you to this page right here where you're going to see a very short code. I lied, actually it's five lines. Anyway, so uh, this code will do the trick for us. And simply select the whole code in here, right click and copy and get back in here and paste it in the space that we did create. As you can see, and this code is free by the way, no pay please, no share please, nothing like that. Just a like button if this video helped you out. So simply click on the save button. We will wait a couple of seconds. Here we go. Get back in here, reload the page and the filters are gone Ta -da! as you can see so no more filters on the collection page as you can see and that's how you completely hide the filters and if you have any questions any video requests make sure to drop on below in the comment i will be happy to help you out but for now i think my job is done so thanks for watching catch you on the next one